Hello guys, this is Panzermers36, and today's video is going to be a tutorial on making weld seams and cast textures. Uh, this is the kit that I did it on in the video, it's a KV-1 Mall 1942 from Trumpeter, a very nice kit too. Um, but the kit does not replicate the cast texture or the weld seams on the turret, as this one does in real life, and a lot of other kits don't, or um, either that or they don't have a strong enough texture so it won't really show through priming and painting. Uh, so, yep. I built up this uh, cast texture and as well as the weld seam on the turret there using only, as you can see the back here, Tammy White Putty, uh, Tammy Extra Thin Cement, and uh, Stretch Sprue, which I made by myself. Like, you just take a piece of sprue and heat it with a candle, it's not really that hard. I showed to do it in the video, and um, I'm going to show the whole process in the video. I hope it helps you guys out because, um, as I said, lots of kids don't have the cast texture, and it's a really cool thing to add, adds lot, lots of interest to it. It shows it really nicely on a wash. And, um, well, it's what the tank really had in real life, so it's pretty cool. So, hope the video helps you out, and, uh, hope you enjoy it, too. It's, uh, it was pretty fun making the video, and I'm really happy with the result I got. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. So, first we're going to put a blob of the, uh, putty on the plastic or whatever surface you're going to use. I'm just using a sheet of plastic right now because... It works. You can use a little bowl as well, but this stuff isn't going to flow away or anything. And now we need to add some of the extra thin. Now there's two ways you can do this. First of all, you can just kind of go like this and add blobs up to the top. Just make sure you don't actually touch, like, well, at least stick the, the little paintbrush thing here into the, um, the putty. Otherwise, you're going to get putty on it, but in this way, it'll just kind of drop onto it, and you will not get any putty on the tip of there, so it's fine. You can do that. Or what you can do is you can actually just pour it on. Usually you can use something like this to guide it on. You just kind of go like this and it will run down onto the body. controlled manner at least. Mix it up. And now we just apply it to the turret. We want it to be a fairly nice coat. We're going to work on the texture a little bit after. We just want a coat of it right now. Now to replicate a slightly um, rough steel surface on this um, mantlet area there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, take some extra thin, you know, and I'll just kind of rub it on, which will soften up the plastic. And then I can just stipple it with a paintbrush or something like that. That'll make the surface slightly rough. So these weren't exactly cast. They were a bit rough, so there's still a bit of putty left on this, so it's gonna make a slightly rough surface, as I said. And now the uh, the cast texture is pretty rough, so you can probably see there's like spikes and high edges on it. So I'm gonna 
I uh, just sand it down a little bit. I've got a 240 grit uh, ultimate welding product sanding stick here, so just lightly running over. So before I can make some uh, weld seams on the turret, I need something to make the weld seams from. Either you can buy a strip of styrene tube, or you can make your own stretch sprue um, by using a candle here. And um, this piece of sprue, like just any length of sprue like this, hopefully it's long enough that you don't burn your fingers. And basically what you do is you have to heat up the plastic above the candle. It doesn't take very long, and then it starts to get mushy, as you can see it gets a little bendy there. And you can stretch it out. And then you can hold it like this for a second until it uh, solidifies. Also don't hold the candle too, or the, the plastic too close to the candle. Otherwise the sprue will burst into flames, and I do have video of this, so I can put up the video. Now I'm feeding the stretch sprue into the, um, <clears throat> into the gap between the two halves of the turret. And, uh, yeah, and then later I'm going to add the welded texture to it. Now I'm building up a texture on the weld seam with uh, more Tamiya putty just straight from the tube and a shish kebab stick. And now here's the completed turret. Uh, the weld seam is all finished. It wasn't really that hard to make. Only needed the stretch sprue and the putty. As you can see, it's uh, it's a bit rough. It's not really the uh, kind of weld seam you'd see on like a, a Panther tank, you know, nice and um, equal equal width and with all the lines on it. Uh, I looked at photos and I based them off that. The Russian, well, the Russian welds were like like this were just kind of messy because they didn't really have the specialists that um, the Germans did. They were just cranking them as fast as they could, um, which was pretty successful. And, yeah, but um, as you can see, the weld seam goes all the way along there. The uh, weld seam and the cast texture will show up very nicely under a wash. Uh, this particular tank doesn't have a very strong cast texture, so I did sand it down a bit. But if you're doing something like a, a T-34 or like the, maybe like a late war King Tiger, you're doing like the the muffler guards at the rear, you know, you can make it pretty uh, pretty rough there. And yeah, it does look pretty cool. Uh, yep, so I uh, hope the video helps you guys out. Uh, cast textures are, as I said, pretty cool and they're uh, pretty fun to make too, not that hard. Only need putty, you can also probably use other putties um, and other things to thin down this putty. I'm not sure what works with what, but I should use Tamiya putty. But I'm really happy with the result. You know, hopefully this tank will look pretty nice all painted up. Um, definitely looking forward to doing this. Probably going to do some cool camo on it. Um, it's a really nice kit to build, but the cast texture is lacking. But, you know, fun to make, and I get to make a video for you guys to help you out. Yep, so, um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hope it helps you out in some way. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is Panzermerch36. Have a nice day. Keep building. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat it in the middle until it gets blobby. 